Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So, back to our SQL join series. Today we are going to talk about what is left outer join or you can call it left join also. Both are same thing. Okay. So, it is uh, another type of outer join. Last time we have already seen the inner join. So, what do you mean by left outer join or the left join? So, what happens? Let's see, there are two tables are there. Table A. This is called left table or let's see, this is right hand side table. I'll give a name, let's see, A and B over here. So what I want that I want to get the data from this entire table A, right? And then whatever the common area, the common part also, the common matching uh, rows also, I want to get it. So this is called what? Left outer join. It means I want to exclude these guys. I don't want the right hand side table content or right hand side table rows which are not being matched with A and which are not the common elements, right? So that's why this is called left outer join. It means I want to get the full data from left table along with the common intersection data. Also, I want to take it. So if you write a formula over here, the result will be like this. I want the full data from the left table. Let's see left table is A and I want the A intersection B also like this. It means I want the common data as well as the complete data of A. And A is available at the left hand side. This is that's why this is called the left join or left outer join. Now, let's take a practical example. Let's take two examples first, uh, simple, and then we will see the practical example one more. <clears throat> so let's see. I have two tables. In any e-commerce application, there is a supplier system, and supplier is uh, supplying in some uh, specific region. So I'm going to create two tables. One is the supplier, and another one is a region table. Let's say a simple write supplier name. And then I have uh, another, the supplier can supply in this particular region. So I simply say region ID over here. And there are multiple suppliers, right? And then their uh, region ID, I'll tell you in some time. But before that, let's create another table. And the table name is, this is really a practical example. And uh, let's see, again, this is a region table. So this is, I would say, supplier table, right? This is what your left table. And this is my right table. And I simply say that is my region table or regional table, whatever the name you want to give. And then it's having its own region ID, right? And uh, region ID over here. And then let's see, this is a region name. So I simply write, this is my, so let's see, we have different regions country wise. So let's see, I simply go to uh, Europe. I'll go to Middle East. I can supply in, uh, in USA. I can supply in Africa, for example. And I can supply in Asia Pacific also like that. Right. And they are having their respective region IDs. Let's see European Union one five. So this is associated with this like that. So this is the table that we have. And then the join is a supplier name and supplier join is supplying in region one. Anna is supplying in region number three and Robert is supplying in region number two. Let's see. Jim is supplying in region number four. But for Tom, we don't have any region. He's a supplier, but he doesn't supply in out of these regions. So I would say, let's see null over here, right? So this is the left table and the right table. And when you apply the left outer join or left join, right? So what will be the result you will be getting it? So the result, as I told you that you will be getting all the values from the supplier, all the rows from the supplier. So definitely it's all, the, I want all the supplier names and there with respect to their region names. Right. So I want two columns supplier name as well as their respective region name on the basis of this region ID like that. So I'll apply the region ID is equal to supplier region ID is equal to a region region ID. And I want supplier name and the region regional name also. I want to get the data from all the left left hand side left hand side table means supplier side. I want to get this entire data along with this common data. Also, I want that. So how will you apply that? So in this case, the result will be what? Uh, two columns over here. Supplier name C is available in the left hand side. So it means definitely I need all these guys. And then I want regional name on the basis of what region ID of supplier is equal to region ID of the region table. So John is working where John region ID is one. It got matched over here. So I'll get European Union EU over here. Then Anna is working uh, region ID is three. Three is USA. Three got matched over here. So Anna is working in USA like that. Then Robbie is working region ID two. So region ID for two is what Middle East. So Robbie is in Middle East. Jim region ID is a four. This is four. And then he's work. He's supplying in Africa. So I'll be writing Africa. 
for Tom, we don't have any region ID. It's null. We don't have any null region ID. So that for Tom, you will be getting null over here only. So it's compulsory to get Tom because Tom is is available inside the supplier table. So this is a, a result you will be getting it for this particular uh, left join, right? Now let's take one more example and then we will exactly do the same examples. This is uh, the first example. Second example, let's take a uh, more practical example. Let's see uh, some banking system, some loan banking system that I have. So I have uh, two tables over here. I want the first table and this is a second table and this table is actually the loan table and this is a customer table loan and customer so this is my left table and this is my right table and then I have some data over here and I want that first of all that this common uh, this uh, loan table I want all the get I want data and this common part also I want that so if you draw the tables over here like this, okay for example I have the table number one and in table number one let's see I have three columns over here here as well Let's see, this is my loan uh, number, right guys? This is like the loan is taken from which branch? The branch column and then what is the amount of that particular loan? And then again, I'll be writing what is the customer customer name here? And then what is the loan number once again? Ellen over here, this Ellen loan number. Because every loan number is having some uh, loan amount number or loan account number. For example, let's see, this is L1. This is L2 and this is L3 and the branch is somewhere. Let's see. I'm writing branch B1, B2 and B3. Three branches are there and amount is like that uh, 1K, 2K and 3K. And the customer is let's see C1, C2 and C3. And again, the customer has uh, the loan number is LN1 and the C2 is uh, L2 and the C3 is let's see loan number four but loan number four is not available here so what we want we want to do the left join left join means this is the left table and this is the right table this is the this is the loan table so i want to fetch all the data from loan so the output will be what the output will be like this the resultant query will be like this i want let's see four columns and i simply say that okay fine what is your loan number i want that what is your branch name i want that what is the amount that you want to fetch and what is the customer uh, customer name also so i from the loan column is actually coming from here l1 l2 and l3 from the left table so i'll be writing immediately like this and the respective branch is also b1 b2 and b3 what is the amount 1000 2000 and 3000 and what are the different customers now it'll be it will be start matching l1 and l1 over here so customer 1 l2 and l2 over here it means customer number 2 and then for L3, do you have any uh, loan? No, we don't have anything. But L3, what will be the customer name? L3 did not match, so it will be getting null over here. So what will be the query if you write it? I simply write select, right? And what are the different columns name that you want to select? For example, loan is rip, alias is L and customer alias is C. So I simply say L dot loan number, comma, L dot from which branch? comma l dot what is the amount that you are uh, looking for and then c dot customer name right from which table so i'll be writing from from the loan table so i simply write loan table over here and then i'll be writing the left outer clause left outer join over here what condition so condition is l dot loan number which is equal to customer dot loan number if this condition is matched then you can give me the data so it will give you this data right so let's take this example quickly and uh, i have my queries ready already so without wasting our time i'll just open my this query section and tables first i'm going to create and then i'm inserting the data over here like that so this is my query i'll uh, give you the query also guys in the comment section and then see i'm going to run it in the loan, I have three loan number, branch, amount. In the customer, I have customer name and the loan number. Exactly what I exactly have told you. Launch, branch, uh, loan number, branch and amount. Loan number, branch and amount. Customer name and the loan number. Customer name and the loan number. And a nice uh, uh, name, column names I have given. And let's see the loan is L1, L2, A3. And from the Pune branch, Mumbai and Bangalore branch. And these are the amount, 1000, 2000 and 3000 from this particular, to this particular table. 
now the customer i have three customer navin tom and lisa and uh, l1 l2 and l4 see this l4 is not available we don't have any l4 uh, loan number right but this is my left table and this is my right table so i'll do one thing for let's execute this entire thing let's create the table and insert the data so click on go data got inserted over here you can see that customer table is there in customer table we have three guys navin tom lisa l1 l2 l3 exactly same thing uh, in the customer c1 c2 c3 and three loan account numbers are available and then i'll go to the loan and the loan we have three loan l1 l2 l3 pune branch mumbai branch bangalore and this is the amount that we have fine i'll go to back to sql and then i'm going to write my query over here like this and the query is left outer join query l dot loan number i want branch name and amount these three things i want from l l means the loan because this is what i want right loan number branch and amount that is compulsory to get the data from the from the loan table all three rows i want from here it means or whatever the column name that you want to select that doesn't matter and from loan l and the left outer join customer c it means I want to do a left auto join with the customer C, but on the basis of what the condition is that when the loan number is equal to loan loan number is equal to customer loan number, right? So in this case, we should get a one, two, three, three rows. We should get it. Why? Because inside my loan table, three rows are available. So you hit this particular query. So now you can see that, okay, the data is coming like that. L1, L2, L3, Pune, Mumbai, Bangalore, 1000, 2000, 3000. And then the customer name I'm getting Nalu because for uh, if you go to the customer table for Lisa, it is L4, right? And uh, for uh, a loan, we don't have any L4 over here. So when you apply the uh, query, if you apply this particular query, once again, loan number is equal to customer loan number will be matched over here. See L1, L2, L3, we are getting it, but for L3, we don't have any a customer for that that is what i told you for l3 we will be getting the customer name as null we don't have any customer for l3 and put a condition also over here the condition is that you can put a where clause you can write one where and you can simply say that okay fine the l a dot whatever the amount that you are looking for see if you go to the uh, uh, amount 1000 2000 3000 you can put a condition which should be less than equal to 2000 it means give me the amount give me the rows only for where amount is equal to less than equal to 2000. It means the third row will be excluded in that case. So it's giving you the data from 1000 to 2000 only like that. So like this also, you can add the where clause as well. You can add it over there like that. So this is a simple left outer join. You need to understand you will be getting the left table data, this particular data along with the intersection part. And we should not get this particular data at all, or you can call it left join also. So if you remove outer from here the result will remain same see i'll show you. exactly same thing we are getting it over here so either you write left join or left outer join both are same thing but generally we say this is left outer join because left join is part of outer join okay guys thank you so much thanks for watching this video i hope you got it now and then i'll see you in the next video till then take care and god bless you all